Now let's look at how we install Python on a Linux machine. Now in this particular situation, we're using Kali Linux and we'll be using Kali Linux for all the tutorials for this particular video series. So to do the installation of Python, the first thing we want to do is type in apt-get install Python and let's see already it says that Python is already the newest version. So I didn't have to install it. Kali Linux comes with Python installed already. Now let's look at what version of Python is on this machine. Sorry, I'll type in Python again. And let's see, this version is 2.7.9. It appears it's the latest version that we are using. So let's exit that. Now just a bit of a disclaimer, Python 2.7.9 is the version we'll be using. We'll be using this to create a number of hacking tools. We'll be looking at how hackers use these tools to basically infiltrate networks, how to infiltrate websites, how to infiltrate other systems. And in most cases, these are undetected because you have complete control of creating the program from scratch or using pre-built modules. I do not advocate you using this for any illegal purposes. This is not the purpose of this particular training. It's to give you an insight into what Python can be used for and how hackers use these tools and how they create their own tools to basically go under the radar of most antivirus systems, intrusion detection systems, law enforcement agencies, etc. So with that, let's go on and show you the number of modules already available within Python that users could simply download and install. The key thing here is we do not want to advocate any illegal activity. This course is primarily set as an information and explanation program to show you what is actually possible. So let's go into a browser window so I can show you the number of modules and literally there are thousands of modules already available so you wouldn't even have to write a lot of the code to start with you could use pre-built modules to make your life easier in the beginning while you learn Python side by side so the key thing is to understand that modules are already written and all available for free thousands of them you could simply use those modules and I'll show you now how we can actually install those modules on our Kali Linux machine so you can actually get set up with some of those modules already available. To do that, we want to go to our Ice Weasel browser and we want to search for a specific website which has the list of modules already available. A simple search on the search engine will retrieve an index of all these modules. So let's go into Ice Weasel and we want to type in something called PyPy, P-Y-P-I, which is the Python package index. So let's close this, type in PyPy to then give us the option of all the modules available to us. So P-Y-P-I, will give us this link, pypy.python.org. And here we have the Python package index. As you'll see here, there are literally thousands of modules already available, a whole range of things, you know, algorithms, finding images on the website. These are all the newest versions. There are a list of packages that we can see here. If I click on this link, it'll open up a new page and show me the list of 75,432 packages as of this date. So the index will then give me a list of a range of modules already pre-built that we could simply use for our own benefit without having to write a single line of code. So as you can see, as I scroll through here, these are all the packages or modules already available for us to utilize. And I'll show you in a short while how we can actually get these modules working in our Linux version under Python. So let's just do that by looking through some of these 
you'll see there's a whole range of printers. There's things that allow you to three letter word games. I mean, literally convert your files to MP3, convert your files into MP4. Uh, if you scroll down, there's another one here, which actually allows you to convert the three to two. So any programs that I've written in version three of Python, you can convert it easily into valid code by using this program, which will then convert all the Python three code into Python two. So again, there's so much. There's HTML passes, there's accounting tools, there's literally, I mean, anything you can think of has already been done. So let's go on to see how we can actually load up some of these packages in our Python version on our Kali Linux machine. But do spend some time looking through the modules that are available. Here's the advanced HTML parser that I talked about earlier. But let's go to Kali Linux, the command prompt in Kali Linux, and let's type in the command pip, pip install, and let's look at the Google module for now, and that's downloading and unpacking the Google module. You'll see it's collected a package called Google and then successfully installed that Google package. So to install any modules, you simply need to type in pip, install, and then the actual module name that you require. Now, Python is very efficient and really useful to create a number of hacking tools. We'll be looking at some network scanner tools, some cryptography tools, and a whole range of other tools that are already available. And we'll be creating some tools that we'll be able to use for ourselves. And remember, by writing up some code for yourself, you actually are able to create tools that are pretty much undetectable to most intrusion detection systems, antivirus tools, and please use this for legal purposes only and nothing illegal. There are a number of text editors we can use to create our Python programs, but for this tutorial series, we'll be using something called PyCharm, which is a debugger tool editor tool that has a number of cool features. So let's go in and do a search for the program called PyCharm, P-Y-C-H-A-R-M, and that will find the PyCharm program. There is a community version which is free that you can actually install on your machine. So we go to the download link and let's go and download the community version for now. This will give us some debugging tools already inbuilt into the PyCharm editor. I let this install, and then in the next videos, we'll show how we use PyCharm to create our own Python programs.